CBSC learners, how are you all at your home? So, in my previous video, I have taught you the models and the helping verbs or auxiliaries, modal auxiliaries and its type, kinds, characteristics and ventures. And I have said that in my today's video, in my upcoming videos, I will give you each and every uh, uh, necessity when to use the how to use the each and every models or models auxiliaries so before i start my video i would like to ask you something have you subscribed to my channel or not if you have still not subscribed to our channel please subscribe and hit the bell button because if you don't hit the bell button you won't be notified about our videos okay so the liking is up to you whether you will like or not and you see the video and decide whether you want to like the video or not okay so without wasting further time let me let us see when to use the first modal auxiliary must so must is a modal auxiliary right so when to use must when you have some fixed determination right so when, whenever we have fixed determination that I must get my money back I must catch him today so when I have a fixed determination when we have fixed determination we use the auxiliary must so let me give you an example first one is fixed determination fixed determination or let me tell you if when you have fixed fixed determination that yes you have to get that and you have to complete that work okay so example is I must get my money back so, I must get my money back. Or you can, instead of money, you can use I must get my book or my phone or anything back. Okay. So, it shows you that you are having fixed determination. Okay. So, must is used when you have fixed determination. Next, when you have compulsion, that necessity, like when you are teacher is pressurizing you that you should complete your homework then what you will say I must complete my work or I must complete my homework so when you have compulsion or necessity right so when you have compulsion or necessity, whenever your teacher is pressurizing, when your parents are pressurizing that you have to complete your homework, it is mandatory for you. Then what if you are on your deadline that you have to do the work, then what you do? Then you say that I must complete my homework. So you can use the example, I must complete my homework and when else you use the word must when you say when you tell when you prohibit someone that when you restrict someone hey don't do that work okay so you tell when you impose rules and regulation on someone that student must not loiter or roam in the at the corridor or in the corridor right so that time you use the word must student should not student must not eat inside classroom okay student must not loiter at the corridor in the corridor right so let me take third point when you use when you impose restrictions or prohibition on someone when you impose prohibition and restrictions on someone. So, it indicates fixed determination. It indicates compulsion and necessity. It indicates prohibition and 
strict uh, restrictions. So, you can give an example. Students must not roam outside outside their say the class. Okay. So when you are imposing restrictions, you can use the word auxiliary word must or models must. Next, when you use this must, once again, when we give, when we say someone is loyal to their duty or with loyalty, to show loyalty. Like soldier must be loyal to their country or to their duty, right? So, to show loyalty. So, soldiers loyalty to their duty, okay? Soldiers must be loyal to their duty. Okay, so you understood when to use must, when you have fixed determination, when you have necessity, when you have compulsion, when you are prohibiting someone, when you are restricting someone, when you are having loyalty of nature or when you have strong will of nature, then you can use the word must. Okay, so this is a very short video on must and next I will use, I will give you the use of can, when to use. Okay, so this video is up to this. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned with us. Okay, take care, stay home, stay safe. Bye.